John Mulaney. John Mulaney. You know what? That's actually, this is actually, a nor- that's a pretty good John Mulaney, actually. You really think so? You think I do. that I do a good John Mulaney? It, you know what? I think I may have decided too quickly because I just decided on this. You've only said two words, but now that I'm hearing you say more words, it's falling apart a little bit. But now that I've given you some criticism, let's see if you. Or if if it, if it bothers you, I hope it doesn't. I hope you keep going strong even after the, the oh, criticism. Oh, you think that it bothers me? You think that it bothers me? I'm John Mulaney. There's nothing that offends me. I'm John, John Mulaney. I have had stadiums of people chanting my name. You know what? You got me. You brought me back. I think this is a good impression. At least I'm not a horse in a hospital because nobody knows what the hell's going on when these things happen. Okay. What else do we got with this? Well, it all depends on what your perspective of going on is. Are you talking about your life or mine? I don't know what we're talking about yet. I don't think we've gotten that. F- well, right now, what we're talking about is is what we what we are going to talk about. But I think that, that we're planning a little bit too much. I don't think we're letting this flow in the way that it should. What do you want to talk about, Gecko? It's all up to you, buddy. Uh, well, I don't. I don't want to ask you what have you accomplished because you're going to answer in character as John Mulaney, and that's boring to me. Well, that's unfortunate. Why did you have a did you have a thing planned that you I I because I don't want to look, I don't want to ruin your bit. Oh, you're not ruining anything. I'm John Mulaney. I plan nothing out. John Mulaney plans that. What do you mean? John Mulaney plans out everything. That's how he's good. You think have he just you, gets up there and wins Have you it? seen his specials? The way he reacts on stage, he doesn't plan out that shit. That's why his hands are wet. Definitely not some other reason. He plan he hands out he plans out at least like ninety five percent of it. Maybe he lets he leaves five oh, percent oh, to like flow and shit. Of but it. you did not plan absolutely. out ninety five percent. You're not claiming to have planned out ninety five percent of this. You're claiming to be winning oh, this entirely, not. which you're not. Absolutely not. He's a five he's a five foot nine man married to a Jewish woman who stresses him out. She's a bitch, but he loves her, and there is nothing wrong with that. What what have you accomplished, Tom Mulaney? The bar is so much lower than I expected. I don't, what do you mean? I've accomplished what? I've accomplished the fact that I got that horse out of that goddamn hospital. All right, what else? Well, I don't know if you've been watching the news lately, but it seems like Everyone, everywhere, is super mad about everything all the time. And while I try to stay optimistic, I'll admit, things have been getting pretty sticky. You know what I like? You know what is selling me about this impression is that it's over the phone. So I am at, like, when I'm imagining, like, you, when I'm imagining who I'm talking to right now, I am imagining that you are John Mulaney. That's selling it a little bit more. Absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't, All right. I didn't even think I'd get in. I thought this would waste 20 minutes of my time, and then I'd go off watching some special on Netflix about how Pete Davidson made jokes about 9-11 or some shit. All right, all right. But look I at think this. We're here now. We, we, I think, uh, you know what? I think this, I think we're done. I think that we've, we've both gotten exactly what we, I don't think we intended to, I don't think we intended to get anything out of this because neither of us knew that we were going to be with each other. But oh, absolutely I think... not. But I hope you have an amazing night, Gek. And thank Gek you, Nation, John Mulaney. Go watch Kid Gorgeous at Radio City because I am on fire. Good night, Gek Nation, and go on the Gekstagram. Thank you. Good, good, good night, John Mulaney. Call from Sydney. Sydney. Hi. Hello, Sydney. How are you? 
Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I got connected. That I'm, look, I'm happy you got connected too. Here we are, we're on the internet. We're talking. This, what we're doing right now, I was talking about this earlier, but what we're doing right now, it's like, in all of human history, there's such a little amount of time in which you could talk to someone, right? And then yeah. have other people listen to you talking to someone on their computer, and then they also are talking to a bunch of people who are also on their computer. It's weird. Right. How many streamers do you have right now? Streamers? Or is that what it's called? Viewers, maybe? Oh. Look, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, it's just <laughs> you and me on the phone. And that's it. Well, this is a really special, intimate moment. I'm glad we can share this. Oh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm thrilled, Sydney. <laughs> I, 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 did you... Did you did you call in with a specific thing on your mind? Um, you know, I actually did. Am I free to talk about anything I want? It just hit me. I won't say anything racist. I promise. You won't say anything what? I <laughs> I won't say anything racist. I promise. Oh, okay. I didn't. <laughs> pe I didn't so. peg that of you. <laughs> it's good. So my buddy, um, his name is Jacob. He's got this new girlfriend, and she's kind of like a sort of dominatrix kind of gal and like nice. I think nice. I think she's like stepping on his balls man and like I'm kind of worried about him like I'm worried she's like beating him up and stuff and like I don't know how to be there as like a friend to support this like fetish or whatever you want to call it do you have any advice for me Gecko? is well uh, are, is it this is I'm assuming consensual yes then there's then there, there's nothing for you to do. I feel like when you're in a relationship with a person that's like sexually overpowering you, it can have some side effects like outside of the bedroom. You know what I mean? Like I feel for like sure. he's different. Like he's he's you more he's timid now? now. Yeah, like I feel like she's making his personality like like you know wimpy. But have you talked to him? What is what is what is his like? Is this like his thing? He sexually loves being dominated. I don't know if it's that, but I think he just really likes this girl. So he's kind of like going okay. along, right? You know? Right. Because there's a difference. If 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 the, there, it would be different if you know he really likes the girl and she's getting him into, you know, he's he's sort of putting up with it because he likes her versus. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is something he really likes. And he finally found someone that, that you know, can accommodate it. Yeah, um, I mean, that could be it. But, like, it just, I feel like he's really new to, like, dating. And she's definitely a lot more experienced. So you kind of got, like, not only the power dynamic, but, like, the experience level difference. I'm just worried about him. Look, here's the deal. At the end of the day, if this man wants his balls stepped on, he will get his balls stepped on one way or the other you have no you have no mm -hmm. control over 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 this right. um if you genuinely and look as far as I, from everything you've told me this is two people having you know in the bedroom having their consensual uh you know doing their thing you want to go. right you know so you have no control over this if you feel how, how many how okay what you have told me this evening have you told it to him have you have you expressed your concerns directly to him yeah, we talk about it a lot, and I just, like, I guess the concern I have is just, like, the severity of some of the acts, you know? Like, he sounds like he's okay with it, but, like, what if he's, he's like, not okay with it, but he doesn't know? Like, he's, he's kind of, like, new to this. I just don't want him to get hurt. Look, the best you can do is, is, uh, is tell him this stuff. And once you have told him this stuff, then you then then you know you're out. There's nothing else you can do. Like yeah, all I can do. Mm -hmm. You don't. You're not gonna show you're up right. to the bedroom and you know inter you know interrupt anything. Be the bedroom police. No. Oh, that's hot. That could be hot. Yeah, it could be. Am I how old? How old is this guy? Oh, he's like twenty. Oh. Something. I can't remember. Okay, look, when you're 20, I feel like your balls are resilient. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be more nervous for this guy if he was like 60, because then she would step on his balls and they could just poof into dust. But this guy's got 20-year-old balls of steel. They can they could take a little bit of uh, they could take a little bit of hurt, you know. Is that a thing? 
do gecko know, balls doctor, work but... differently than male balls, like human balls? You know, I have not uh, 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 been in the lab <laughs> testing that. Mm-hmm. One could say. So I don't know, and I and I intend to to, to you know I mean look I, you know I could do the second half of my life I could get in uh, maybe later in life I will I will be interested in in having my balls stepped on but for now I, I don't have access to that information and I and I don't wish to gain access to that information. Mm, okay, that's fair enough. But look, express your concerns. If you have concerns, express your concerns. But at the end of the day, you gotta understand you can't do anything about this. I think you're right, Gecko. For sure. <laughs> What'd you say your name was again? Hmm? What'd you say your name was again? It's Sydney, like Australia. Oh, shit. I know, well, isn't Sydney. that so quirky? <laughs> oh, are you from Australia? No, I'm from U.S., but I wish I was. It would work out so well. Well, Sydney from the U.S., um, good luck to you. And you, I, you know what? Good. You know what? I didn't bring, I wasn't going to bring this up. And I don't look at uh -oh. chat when I'm in calls, but I peered over at the chat. And someone brought this to mind, and I can't, I can't let you go without saying this. Is oh, it no. possible, Sydney? Is it possible, Sydney? That you, you might, you secretly want to step on his balls. That you're secretly a little bit jealous. Like the friend of mine, I want, yes. I want to step on his balls. Like I don't want to say it. But, like, maybe I am, because I'm kind of like a power woman, you know? I've never thought of that. Now you gotta, you gotta explore that. And you yeah. know what? And, but look, he, he, your friend's taken, you know? Don't, don't, fu don't fuck with their thing. But go, go on FetLife. Make a FetLife account, Sydney. Go What's on FetLife. Google it. Go on, go on, go on FetLife. <laughs> find, find another guy to step on his balls. You know, that might be what you're missing. Mm -hmm. I think you got you got to look into yourself and decide whether or not you you're, you're you might secretly be jealous. I'm glad I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't let you go without bringing that up because that's an avenue that is is worth exploring. Do you think I own. should tell him that, or should I wait until like he's not in a relationship? If I do it I now, it might make him. I think you should wait. Are you have you? I think you should confirm with yourself whether or not you are jealous before bringing it up to someone else. I mean, because, like, I'm thinking now, I'm, I'd probably totally be into it, but, like, I don't know if it's, like, a jealousy thing. You know? But, like, I'd be down to do it now that I'm thinking about it. I, I, I'm I slowly beginning to think it's a jealousy thing. You think so? Go find find a guy who don't tell him because <clears throat> you, you don't want to get in. Look, he's happy with his dominatrix chick you know whipping him and doing whatever he's having a blast don't mess with him and you know she's having a blast she she has you know her pet i don't know what it is pet boy you gotta go find your own pet boy pet boy okay I'm go, go, fi go find your own little pet boy will do you have a good rest of the night sydney bye gecko sub is is pet boy can I is pet boy work or is it sub? Damn, I'm so glad I don't know I try I, I, I I'm so glad that we, we brought that up. That we got to the bottom of that. Cause she uh, she would if uh, she she would have continued to stay in her delusions. Possibly. Go to Fat Life. Sydney, make an account and find yourself. Look, a, 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 a cute five foot two sub. Call from Danny Slayer. Danny Slayer? Skinny Slayer is my Reddit S username. Skinny Slayer. Where, where does that come from? Um, well, uh, my nickname has always been Slayer, like the metal band. And I'm super skinny, so it's just skinny you, Slayer. I thought you were the dominatrix calling in. Oh my god, no. Of the, the previous joker. girl. And you like I, slay I, skinny <laughs> little boys. Um, no, I wanted, to, I wanted to ask you quick before we chat. Um, have you seen that meme? Since you're a gecko, have you seen the meme about um, 
It's an actual gecko, and he's got a chain necklace on, and he's holding a thumbtack. And in the words above, it says, I'm not asking you to join Geico. I'm telling you to join Geico. <laughs> I have not seen this. What What is this? It's just a funny joke about Geico insurance. How do I, what do I, what do I need to type in to get to this? And will it put me How on a list I, of some kind? I uploaded your stream so I could just send it to you later. It's super funny. Okay. You said it's a, you said it's a, the Geico gecko with the whip or a gun or some shit? No, it's an actual gecko. Like it's, just, it's a picture of a real live gecko, not the cartoon. Oh, okay. And he's, and he's holding a thumbtack. And he's got a silver chain around his neck. Oh, uh, okay. And, he, and he's threatening people from cha from changing, you know, like uh, State Farm to Geico, you know. <laughs> well, I guess that I guess that answers your question as to whether or not I'm familiar with it. But I will yep. be. I will. I will be looking this up afterwards. Yeah. No, it's absolutely wonderful, and it's really rele relevant to what you're doing. Skinny Slayer, what is your pet peeve? My pet peeve? Yes. Well, there's, I mean, they're really simple. I don't like it when people chew on their nails or crack their knuckles. But I also don't like it when people are shitty, I guess. Excuse my language. You don't like it when, you can say whatever you want on here, dude. Oh, um, hell yeah. Um, I don't know, you're like, are, I, when I was watching you, you were front page and I was like, holy smoke. But you sounded really cool, so I was like, uh, it, was, it sounds fun to talk to you. The re Reddit, there's all kinds of crazy shit on Reddit on the front page. <laughs> yeah, you can there say, is. You can say shit on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, it goes from, like, um, somebody painting Spongebob to, like, somebody playing the harp, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and, like, fucking skulls and... I, mean, I used to be really into like the fucking, not really into it, but like you know, there's all sorts of, you know, gore and morbid reality and shit. We're getting off topic. Um, okay, all right, all right. You want to get to like the nitty gritty then? What's the well? What's the nitty gritty? Um. Well, do you claim yourself the therapy gecko? Uh, I'm flexible in terms of my labels. Okay, well, everybody's calling in with these, you know, like, I don't know, just normal life problems. But, And this is just another normal life problem. But I'm wondering, what do you think? So the thing that's been bothering me recently is the fact that I sent a nude to my boy, to my ex-boyfriend. Okay. And I, and I have quite a bit of guilt about it because I'm, I'm way more independent and cooler than that. But on New Year's, I was like, Happy New Year. Here's a nude. So do do you, you do you you feel like you sending this nude on New Year's compromised your your thought of yourself as cool and independent? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Where I'm like, why did I do that? Like, I've, you know, it's just. Well, why why silly. did you do that? Because I was looking fly. I don't think I don't think that you have to give up. You know why? Why? why do, okay. Why? Why do you feel like this? Comp why do you feel like this is in uh, uh, conflict with I, you trying with you as identifying as a cool and independent person? Damn. Um. I just think it's because of the history between him and I. You know, it's weird. It's like. Well, most of all, it's because he was like, "Here, I sent you a video, but it never showed up." And um, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. And they never bothered to resend it. But at the same time, it's like I felt the only reason it is is because I felt like I needed affirmations from him. right. And it's right. And I can get affirmations from multiple different people. But I'm not really into the whole online dating scene. So it's weird trying to find affirmations in real life, you know? Right. The right and the idea of of uh, you know, you 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 don't you don't want to want affirmations from your ex boyfriend. Mm -mm. 
Not it's at understandable. all. I mean, the only thing is because they, before they were a boyfriend, they were a really good friend, you know? Okay. Why do you think you were looking for affirmations? Uh, maybe, like, pandemic-y stuff. Okay. Like, the fact that we're all, like, locked up and not not doing much. <laughs> well, okay, were you were you looking for, what, did you want, like, did you want, I like, think, compliments or were you just horny? That, I, well, that's what I was about to say is I think I might have just been horny. <laughs> Cause, cause, look, strong, independent people who don't need affirmations—they still get fucking horny. Exactly. But I, I don't think know, I don't think that I you know that is mutually exclusive. I could have gone elsewhere for it, and yet I went to something familiar. That well, that's because the. I mean, look, that's because it's easy. Yeah. Exactly. And when you're horny, everything is fucking. An impulse decision, and you want the easiest path I know, I know. <laughs> to subduing so the I, horniness. So instead of two identity traits, I might actually have three, which is independent, cool, and lazy. <laughs> I, look, uh, 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 it's, you know, I, I don't think I don't think you're lazy. You know, <laughs> no, I don't think good, anything I mean, about this makes you lazy. No, not at all. But, uh, no, that was good. No, hey, I have you... a quick question for you, though. Sure, to hit me. What's up? Um, I really like geckos. I like lizards quite a bit. I lived in the desert of New Mexico for a couple years, and um, I'm just wondering what brought you to the point of dressing up as a gecko and painting your face I Genuinely, green. I, you know, I wish that I could enthrall you with, um, <laughs> um... A, a very detailed, emotional, <laughs> exciting origin story, but I, that is not something that I I have for you no. or for anyone. <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't have a, a, a clear origin story. I it, it almost feels like I just woke up in this chair just now, and this is this is what I'm doing. So I haven't really focused on the origin of it all wow. that much. Would you the say your name was? What? Um. Skinny Slayer. That's Skinny my Slayer. User. Well, Skinny Slayer, look, thank you for calling in, and um, you're you're you you're, you're you're fine. You're fine. Don't 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 beat yourself up too much about it. All right. I know that's that's the affirmation I needed, yo. At the very end, that's all I needed. Don't beat yourself Beautiful. up. Don't beat yourself up. You fly. All right. It's eleven. It's eleven eleven on my end, and that was a perfect end to this call. Beautiful. You, you 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 take care, SS. I'll talk to you soon. You too. Bye. Call from Chaz. Chaz, who is screaming in the background of your house? Hey, sorry about that. Uh, that was my cousin. Why? What is she upset about? What is she? What is she upset about? Well, she's mad because her dog, well, I guess it's my dog, but uh, this dog that's in the household just ate her yogurt, and she's very disappointed. <laughs> Get fucked. Yeah, bro, that's what I'm saying. Get absolutely wrecked in half, honestly. Yeah, but hey, you, you should tell, tell her. You. Tell her in life. Tell her sometimes in life your dog eats your yogurt. I want to. I want to make. Can we? I want to make that. In, is it cool if I make that into a? Um, can we make that into a thing? Somehow, sometimes oh, yeah. in life, your dog eats your yogurt, dude. Hey, and you just have to get fucked. You life. have to take the L. Tell her, tell her she needs to learn how to take an L, dude. Dude, she does. Can I, can I ask you a question here? Yes, please hit me. All right. So recently, my girlfriend, you know, she gave me an ultimatum. All right, and mm -hmm. I want to bring that ultimatum to you and have sure. you decide it. Please. All right. So basically, uh, we're hanging out. I'm a big Lego guy, Lego fanatic. And she she just got fed up, and she said uh, she basically told me that it's either her or the Legos, and I have about two or three more days to decide. Um, and like I said, I'm a big Lego guy, but it's she's also she's really good to me, so I don't know what to do. What the f what? <laughs> How? What do you? Th what, what? 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 what, what 
Hold on. I have to think about this real quick. Is, for, is she with you right now? She is not. Nope. So I have to let her know by tomorrow. Uh, absolutely. First, okay, I'm going to start off straight. Go with the Legos. But I'm curious, what is her problem with the Legos? Well, I spend about five to six hours a day recreating my Lego sets and sort of just setting them up. So she she really doesn't like them. And uh, it's a couple of times that she stepped on them. So she's not a fan of Legos. Mm. What, what are you leaning towards doing? It's hard. I mean, we've been together for about a year and a half. And she knew about the Legos when she came into the relationship. So, you know, that's that's the situation I'm in. I, I do like the Legos, but it's the only problem with her. She just is not a fan of them. Has she told you specifically what she doesn't like about the Legos? Uh, I think it's, I mean, she has not. I think it's the time that I spend. Um, I don't know if she wants to spend more time with me and not with the Legos. Um, I mean, I recently finished the Millennium Falcon a couple of days ago, and that took 13, 14 hours of hard work. And she wants me to put that time somewhere else. How could she not appreciate that? That you spent 14 hours working on the Millennium me. Falcon? It breaks my heart. You need to find a new girlfriend who will appreciate that Millennium Falcon. Exactly. We need that for it's you. A, well, just for my mental health. I mean, I feel like that's something that I deserve. It absolutely is. Yeah, and it, you know, like I said, it's heartbreaking, you know, because I love my Legos, but I love her too. So. Which do you love more? Like a specific Lego set or just all Legos in general? Because. Is there, a, is there a specific Lego set that you love more than your girlfriend? Quite possibly. I mean, just my Legos, they don't give me the sass that she gives me. And, and you know, like, for example, there's the, uh, the Ewok Village, and I just love playing with them and letting them know that I'm affectionate for them, and they, they give it right back to me. But my girlfriend, on the other hand, Sometimes she just she's in a mood. Mm. Yeah. So you would say the Ewok Village. For sure, the Ewok Village over my girl, one hundred percent. If I had to choose one, hands down. Look, that's your answer. But I mean, how do I tell her? You say, you you, tell her. that she is not as good to you as the Ewoks. Just bring it up like that. Let her know that mm -hmm. the Ewoks have, have had my back and she hasn't. Yes. All right. Um, let her know. Man, let her know. Be... Let her know. Let her know that in your darkest moments, the Ewoks were there for you <laughs> and she was not. Man. I mean, do you think she's going to accept that? Are we going to end matter. the year and a half relationship over Doesn't matter over if she Ewok accepts village? it. Doesn't matter if she accepts it, all right? She, all she right. you know what? You don't need you don't in order to break breaking off a relationship does not require the consent of both parties. That's true. But that, that, I didn't really think about that, but I think uh I think it's time to end it. If she doesn't support the the Legos, it's her time to go. I support you 100% in this endeavor. Well, Mr. Gecko, I really do appreciate your insight. Like I said, you know, I've been having a hard time. It's been, uh, been stressing me out trying to figure out if I choose the Ewoks or my girlfriend. And uh, I think you made it pretty clear for me. Beautiful. What would you say your name was? I'm Chaz. Chaz, have a great rest of the night. And... I Enjoy playing with your Ewoks. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Gecko. Good night, man. Good night.
Call from Tad Molesty. Um, you're gonna have to repeat that. My friend, I well, I don't know All if we're right, friends Jack. yet. I don't know what we. Listen I don't know the way what it our goes. Relationship is. All right. My, I don't like the pet peeves of when I'm sitting down and I'm beating on to my stomach and I go to open my mouth and shoot my load and it hits your teeth. And then you're sitting there and you're picking little kids out of your fucking teeth and it never stops. Mm. And I and I don't know because it gets stringy a little bit and then it starts to go down the back of your throat. You got. You know what your stop. fucking problem? No, your problem is that you probably fucking... Here's what you do is you probably end up you jizz into your own mouth and then you just fucking sit there and you're like post-nut... Like, the, you know, whatever, you know, lazy state. You gotta fucking wipe that shit off because what happens is it hardens. And that's why you have to get in there with the floss and pick it all out. If you would wipe it off immediately instead of fucking sitting there with your cock out for five fucking hours. Or what, an hour, however long you're there. And you just actually wiped it off on sight. Then you wouldn't have to deal with this. This is a problem that you have brought upon yourself. Spinners are quitters, Gek. All right, well then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get in there with the fly. I got Bobby. You gotta get a, a what is it? A water pick? No, I just it's gonna use harden my in between your teeth. Strongly. It's gonna be like it's gonna your cum is gonna feel like you fucking just ch gnawed on a Werther's original and you got caramel stuck up in your teeth. But you gotta you gotta, that's why you gotta wipe it out until it before it hardens. Creamier. What? It's a lot saltier, but but way creamier. You don't sound like you have a problem. You sound like you like this and you want to continue living this way. Which is fine. It's not really my pet peeve, it's my fetish. I'm glad that I'm- I, you know what, I'm glad that I got to be a part of you figuring that out for yourself. Maybe part of my fetish is hot gecko loads inside of my mouth. I'm happy I get to be a part of that as well. This has been an overall positive experience, I believe, for both of us. I love you, gecko. I love you too. You have a good night. Call from Haley. To Haley. Yeah. What's up, dude? What's up? How are you? You know, I'm all right. I'm in the woods. Bro, what are you doing? Cool. Are you in the woods? What did you, you say? This is cool. I didn't think I was actually going to get connected. I didn't think you were either, and here we are. We're just we're, That's what we are right now. We're two people who didn't think that they were going to talk to each other that are now talking to each other. Sweet. Did you call with something in particular in, in, in mind, Haley? <clears throat> I don't know. I guess... I Obviously, my pet peeve, but... uh. I think it's probably just one person in specific. <laughs> Did you, are you, is you have someone in the background with you? Yeah, I have two other people with me. It's not one of them, is it? No, no, no. What's what's this? Well, more specifically, forget. Well, it's it can't. It's not one person. It's got to be what this person does. So, what's the, what's the pet peeve? It's he's my roommate, and he's so messy, but like filthy, disgusting. Okay. Does he la does he leave his dishes to soak? <laughs> yeah, kind of. But uh, it's pretty. I I don't care where he eats, but he doesn't clean up after himself, and he'll just like leave his dirty dishes in his room, and they'll like they get moldy, and it's it's disgusting. Mm. What? Well, and are you these two people that you're with? Are they also roommates? No, they're just my best friends. I have Brianna and Bailey. Bailey's talked to you before. What what um what what have you done to combat this room? Have you confronted them? Have you talked to them? I so we go, we just go to the same college and we have an apartment um in a different state. So I don't see him like all the time, but I've tried to, you know, ask him to pick up after himself and he just doesn't. He's very disrespectful. Um, so recently I had COVID and I had to travel back, um, because I couldn't quarantine at home because I lived with my grandma and, uh, I had to open up his room and I like went in there and it smelled disgusting. 
And then I looked in the corner, and he had a bottle of piss, like a two-liter bottle of piss, in his room, just sitting there. What What do you think that's for? <laughs> I don't know. Like, the bathroom's maybe five and a half feet away. You sure it's piss? I... I'm pretty you sure dip, you it dip was a like pinky a, in and smell or ooh, no I didn't no 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 I did not even want to like open it but uh it's a two liter bottle of Dr. Pib but it's it's a very obviously pee like is it fill is is the entire thing filled with pee <laughs> it's like it's, it's filled to the cap with like, pee not like filled to the cap it's kind of like like he squeezed it to like grip it uh, I don't even. Uh, <laughs> Why piss in a bottle if the bathroom's so close? Why leave your dishes so they get mold on them? You know, in you know, look, when you're an adult, you get to make your own f weird, shitty decisions. I've you look, I've pissed in bottles and left shit out before. I'm a messy, disgusting person, and from that, and speaking from that perspective. I feel like it's, you know, because he's probably insane. <laughs> Which I understand because I'm insane as well. Have you confronted him about this? This, this Not bottle? The pee. Not okay, the pee good. Because but... I don't think that's your place. No, I don't. I don't. I'm kind of like anxious. I don't want to just ask him, like, hey, why do you pee in bottles and leave it? Good, that's his business. But I, uh, I don't know, like, why, why are you peeing in bottles if the bathroom's so close? I just don't understand. What about the common, you got, I think, I think, you gotta, you gotta leave your issues to the common room. Right? I mean, what is it, what's going on in the common room that's, 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 you know, where he's, where he's entering into your jurisdiction? I don't know. <clears throat> he doesn't like, I guess, bring it out, so it's like in sight. But uh, he does just, you know, he will leave his messes everywhere. And, uh, oh, one thing he does, he'll drink soda, which I don't care. But he walks into the kitchen and he passes the trash can and will set his empty can on the kitchen counter across from the trash can that he passed as he was walking into the kitchen. And he doesn't do anything, so, like, I'm left to pick up all his messes. I do all the dishes. He doesn't do his own laundry. He'll just kind of leave them in a pile, and then he just doesn't wash them. How did you so, meet I this mean, person? I'm, an, I'm a nice person, so, like, I'll do his laundry. I met him, uh, we went to high school together, and then uh, we went to the same community college, and we just transferred to the same all university. All right, so you guys so, are pals. Yeah, and he's a good person, and he means well, but oh, he's you gotta really talk to him. You gotta have the you gotta have the direct communication. I've Don't tried. bring up the bottle I've... of piss, but <laughs> but you gotta have you gotta have the direct line of communication with this guy. I can try again, but I've really tried. I've talked to him and tried to see if he'll just maybe pick up a little bit or be like, "Hey, Jake, can you do the dishes?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'll do them." Have you ever been a dick about it? What'd you say? Have you ever been a dick about it? No, I'm not normally a dick. Then now is your example. chance. You have to go be a dick about it. Because that's the only way you'll get it done. <sighs> I'm a nice person, though. You gotta I be really uncar- you, got you have to step outside of the comfort zone of your own identity. That you've crafted for yourself as a nice person, and you have to be a little bit of an asshole. Well, I don't even think that's even being an asshole, but you got to be a little bit more assertive in this endeavor. <laughs> what are your friends? What are your friends? You, you know what? You got. You got. You got. You got to be assertive in this endeavor, my my friend, and 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 just tell them what you think. But don't bring up the piss bottle. What'd you say your name was? I, I, Haley. Haley, do it, do it, do it, do it for me, and I'll give you the same. I'll give you the same promise that I, I told the um, 
the 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 guy whose family wouldn't stop chewing. You know, put, I'll 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 hop on the phone with him. I'll tell him he's got to do his dishes. You know, because I okay. I speak the language of people that don't do their dishes. <laughs> okay, I'll tell him to expect a call. Beautiful. I'll talk. I'll talk to you soon, Haley. And that's funny okay. that one of you is named Haley and his name is Bailey because that rhymes. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> All right, bye. Call from Edman. Edman. Mr. Gecko, how are you doing? How are you doing, man? What's up with you? Oh, uh, just you know, dealing with the um, the seasonal stuff, you know, and job issues, but uh, it, working through it as best I can. But uh, all good, good there. To hear that. You know, you got to try to stay positive. So that's what I'm I trying agree. to do. I agree. I agree. What's uh? Well, what what's well? What's bother? What's what's? You know, I know you know the big things bothering you, but what what about hit me with some minutia, Ed man? What are your well, what are your pet peeves? Well, well, let's say I'm talking to somebody, right? Yeah. And I, I'm talking, to, and then somebody random, like just say that sweet old lady. It doesn't have to be a sweet old lady, but it just she'll just come out of nowhere, and then she'll start talking to the person you're talking to as if you don't exist. Mm. That bothers me. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like. It's like let's say, Mr. Gecko, we we're talking to each other on the street. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and, and just to say, some other random person comes up and say, "Oh yeah, you're the Gecko guy," and starts having a full-on conversation, ignoring the fact that I'm talking to you and you're talking to me. Hmm. You See, know, that, I that feel like me. the I've I, I I know exactly what you're talking about. I used to I used to kind of make it a point, like if I were ever at like a thing and someone started talking to me, you know, mm -hmm. it's it's hard it's hard when you're Cause like there's three parties in this, and it's hard, you know to label them. There's like the there's the connect, right? You know, if, mm -hmm. if if like I'm at a thing and I'm talking to you, and then say someone comes up to me and is like, "Oh, you're the gecko guy or whatever," I would try to I would notice that and I would try to try to bridge together. You literally, I, and I used to, I used to because it, it it feels awkward both if you if you're both parties in that situation, right? If someone comes up to you and starts talking to you while you're talking to someone else, and I'd always try to yeah. think of like a way to fucking um. Yeah, a way, like a way to sort of, kind of maneuver them into the situation, and like, you know what I mean? I'll try to plan it, but you can just go, yeah. "Hey, by the way, this is my friend Edman." You know, uh, just yeah. an acknowledgement. And everybody. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's a personal problem of mine because I thought sometimes I would we'd be having a conversation with somebody, and they would just come down and sit down and talk to the person. And I thought I was having a private conversation with the other person when the other person didn't think that and I would just get upset and leave you know mm -hmm. I usually just leave so that way I don't cause conflict and because then you just leave do you ever why. try do you ever try to talk to the third party as long as they're not annoying me but if they if I'm annoyed for a particular reason I'll just walk away because there's I feel that I mean most people most people are oblivious to the fact that they're annoying you anyway and it's best sometimes it's best not to just you know bring up the fact hey you're annoying me I'm talking to him Shut the hell up! You don't want to say that because you still want to. Look, make I know, I know. It's hard. It's hard. Look, I. Uh, you gotta be fucking. You gotta be in the in, like fucking water with that shit. It's hard though, right? You gotta. You gotta yeah, be yeah. with the flow. You know, it's like, it's like improv. Yeah. Like all of a sudden, someone new has joined the scene, and you gotta keep up with this conversation now. Everything you thought yeah. you knew about the social situation that you are in is wrong, and you gotta keep up with yeah, that fucking new meta. Yeah, and you, and, and sometimes it's hard to do. Yeah, you know, especially when you want to talk to the other person, especially like if, if like, for this instance, like you're the, you're the gecko guy, therapy gecko, oh people want to talk to you, you know, so it's just like, but if I'm that person in a big crowd of people, I, I also would have to understand there's going to be a little bit of that going on as well, you know what I mean? So like yeah. if I'm trying to talk to you, I kind of expect it in certain situations, or at least I try to. Doesn't always work yeah. out. It's hard. It's a hard thing to maneuver, but, you know, I always just try to go with the flow or, like, if I am that connector, you know, just, just do the do the connecting. Um, Definitely. But, yeah, dude, thank thank you for thank you for calling in, Ed, man. And thank thank you again for shit. Ed, man, I don't, I don't know. No one knows, you know, a guy I'm on the phone with, Mr. Edward, he yeah. sent me a sword in the mail. Yeah. And I have to yeah, bring he, it up every time. To. Yeah, and the thing is, it's like it was an adventure to get it to you, and I'm glad I got it to you. 
and I'll say that every time. But um, I don't want to take up much of your time. I know you got like thousands of uh, hundreds of people wanting to talk to you. So um, thank you for taking some time and talking to me. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, man. You have a good rest of the night. You too. You too, man. Bye. Bye. I fucking love it, man, dude. That is a that is a tough situation. I get it. I get it in my fucking head about that though. You know. You think you got you got to stay on top. You got to look. It look to be a top player. You got to stay on top of the meta, and the meta is constantly evolving in a conversation. Call from Blake. Blake. Oh, hey, dude. How's it going? You know, it's all right. It's going okay. I'm in the forest. I'm hanging out. I'm talking to you. What are you up to? Dude. You are looking good in the forest, my friend. That's Thank you, compliment. man. Thank just, you. Just, just honesty. Thank oh, you I'm, so much. I'm doing, I'm doing well. I'm hanging out. I'm watching the stream. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I had a quick question. Earlier it said, what's your pet peeve? And, yes, uh, I would love to know what your pet peeve is, Blake. So I'm not only going to give you my pet peeve, but I'm going to ask you some advice on how to handle it. Because... Um, you know, I think you, you have a nice, sultry voice. It's always relaxing to listen to. My pet peeve is actually loud talkers. Loud talkers. And, yeah. You know, when you're in a room with somebody and they feel like they need to yell, especially if it's just a one-on-one -on -one yeah. conversation. And just, yeah. No, I'm just, usually that person. No, but, but I don't know. Well, if what is it? You, what is it specifically about loud talkers that bothers you, Blake? Oh, you know, mm, I think, all right, partly. It's that uh, it, it, there's probably that sort of psychological thing. Maybe it's an indication that they need too much attention. But mm. also, I think it's just like you just think it just hurts my head. Stop that. You know what? You should try. I know this sounds counterintuitive, but all right. If if you look at a loud, if you, I, you know, I think that all people give people shit all the time for like being like attention whores or whatever or wanting attention. But I think you could look at someone who you view as, ha as as wanting attention and think to yourself, how could I help this person? What is this person missing? And how can I, as a fellow human being, give them what I think they need? You know what I mean? And may may maybe maybe you can't. Maybe maybe they're just, you know, beyond whatever and no amount of attention is enough for them. But I would look at these people as opposed to people who are annoying, as people who, who maybe you could help, you know? If someone doesn't get enough attention, it's, it's probably for some reason, you know? And it's up to what I, you know, this is cheesy or whatever, but I don't know. They're probably insecure for some reason because it's a it's a cycle, right? You you act annoying, everyone calls you annoying, and so you feel annoying, and so now you're insecure, you gotta prove you're not annoying, but in that attempt you end up being annoying and it's like they're just waiting for someone to you know be cool to them for five seconds instead of telling them to piss off so i don't know it's a hard thing to do but you know try that gecko i, I feel like you're yelling right now i'm being a little annoying right now this is true i'm, I'm being a bit <laughs> of a loud talker i agree no that's great and you're advice. well you are well within your right to be pissed off I, i'm not pissed off at all uh thank you for the advice and, of course. Uh, and next time someone's being a little loud, maybe maybe I'll just listen a little better. Thank you, Blake. You have a good one, man. Thanks for calling in. You too. Call from Noah. Noah. Yo, what's up, dude? How you doing? Uh, I'm all right. I'm on the computer. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just just doing what I do, the Spanish homework. It's, it's what do you lit. do? You do Spanish homework? Right now I'm doing Spanish homework. For a college or high school? Uh, high school. Just Spanish how, three. How old, how old are you? 18. You did say Spanish three. Yeah. So what's what's your future? What's, 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 what's in store for the future for you? Dude, What's like, your life going to be like? probably gonna be like some sort of bio researcher of some sort i want to work with crispr cas9 gene editing technology i don't know what the hell that is no i mean you can like um 
make corn really big. Okay, that sounds cool. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna be like you're gonna be like uh, Rick from Rick and Morty. You're gonna be oh yeah, science, bro. I'm gonna, gonna be the rip corn machine holes man. in space time. Gonna, I like it. You know, manipulate Einstein's theory of general relativity to our will. There probably is someone out there who got who like watched Rick and Morty and that genuinely did inspire them to like go to school for hey man, science like, stuff. Advanced nuclear propulsion is cool. Like, there's nothing stopping people from, you know, investigating that sort of stuff in their garage. No, I agree. I agree. You know, I think I think it's I, noble. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's definitely cool. <sighs> What'd you say your name was again? Noah. 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 What's your pet yeah. peeve? Dude, I really hate it when girls will hit me up to do something, and then they'll flake. Ooh. Like, I am um, straight up, dude. Like, I, it doesn't bug me that much because I've always, I have friends that are reliable that I can just always do stuff with. But, like, this one girl hit me up and she's like, yo, let's go do this thing. And I'm like, oh, she sure, hit you of up. course. That's a, yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm I so nervous, bro. I don't hit up girls that hit me up. Okay. Well, and then what, what happened? So, so then, like, we're having, like, we're talking, you know, it's great. And then all of a sudden she just, this nope, just decides that, She's just going to flake. And I'm like, well, that kind of fucking sucks. Oh, shoot. Sorry. That's a naughty word. Oh, you can you, you can say you can say whatever you want on there, dude. Okay. My bad. My bad. You can say cunt. Ooh, I could say that, but I my parents would probably get mad at me. All right. So I'm you're gonna, talking. Can I say it for you? You can. I said you could say whatever you want. Cunt. We did it. I feel kind of powerful now. Don't 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 let it go to your head. I won't. The English lexile is quite interesting. All right. So you asked, so a girl asked you to go ice skating with her, yeah. and then and then what happened? Well, and then she just fucking flaked in, and I just like don't know like the position I'm in now because it's like, well, she said she wanted to hang out again, but I'm not really into flaky girls. You know what? Look. If uh, that respect, set your boundaries. Set, set I, 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 I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a proponent of that, dude. You gotta set your boundaries. Yeah, man. You know, uh, you, you feel like the people that you're trying to form the relationships with, you would expect them. You, you, as part of your sort of the boundaries that you set, which is a good thing to do when you're young. You know, set, mm -hmm. set, yeah, set up sure. what you are willing to tolerate in a relationship and if and if you're not willing to you know deal with people who well, are flaky then don't then you I don't have like to I'm a, I'm a like a i'm a lenient person to an extent but it was just i it, it, it there's been planning behind it and stuff and it just felt really inconsiderate you know but i do i do recognize that like they there could have been something going on for sure mm -hmm. but like now i mean look if that's a deal if that's your deal breaker that's your deal breaker you know yeah yeah okay um, you know, and like, I feel like I'm, I'm always, there's plenty of people around, but I still kind of feel lonely. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, who am I going to talk advanced particle physics with? There's no one my age that's into that shit. There, well, wait, how, how, how isn't there other people in your like, well, wait, you're not even in college. No, like, dude, other seniors, there's not into that sort of stuff. I, I I agree with with what some people in the chat are saying. Um, what are they saying? That well, uh, you know, look, I, college will college. How, what, are you, you're 18. You'll be going to college. Yeah. What? For in the senior, fall, probably. Mm hmm. I want to go to MIT. I'm I'm like I'm just waiting for the email. Oh my god, dude! You you're gonna go to MIT. You're gonna go even if you don't get into MIT. You'll 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 just be patient, my friend. High school is patient. not. High school. No, that's what people tell me. That's like, oh, it's it's really. Not, right. You don't yes. want to peak in high school. Yeah. It's if you if your high school experience is awful, that's actually a really good thing. It's the people who okay. have great high school experiences that should be afraid. I mean, it's it's been a pretty shitty year to be honest. And and Beautiful. last year too. Love to hear it. Yeah. Because what, what because about... it's only going to get better, I believe. Yeah. You know, when you well, go to college. I mean, it's can, different can... now. I'm sorry, what were we going to say? I said we can hope it gets better, but well, you know, look, what, 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 you're going to college probably, like, next fall, right? 
Yeah. All right. By that. By. By what? What? What fucking th- year is it? Dude, by the fall, by the fall, I predict we'll all, we'll all, we we will all have hot vacies in our asses and 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 yeah. in our in our brains. And I, you know, look, the, the, mm-hmm. you're gonna get to go to college at actually a pretty. I mean, I don't know. I'm not Doctor Fauci, but you'll, mm-hmm. you'll. I assume that colleges will be more open than they were in 2020. You know, now that yeah. everyone's vaccinated. Yeah. Well, it, dude, but if they can mass produce that stuff, you know what I mean? It's an RNA-based vaccine. A nanolipid particle, like that sort of. Yeah, stuff you is, know what? It probably you know. is all of those things that you just said, and I have no f- idea, <laughs> and I will be the first to say that I don't sorry, know anything I'm, about I'm, anything. I'm, I'm kind no, of don't, no, 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 um, don't be, don't be yeah. sorry, don't be sorry, because you're gonna find. Yeah. I promise, when you go to college, you will find, you will be able to join the nanolipid club, and if there is not a nanolipid yeah, club, my friend, you will, you will be able to start one. the I'm nanolipid club. Please yeah, do. Damn right. I, by the way, I'm damn a huge right. proponent of this. Is if you can't, if you are into like very fucking niche shit like science or nanolipids, and you yeah, can, bro. and, and I mean, I've, I'm sure something like that exists. Go look around mm-hmm. the college. Go in the directory. Oh, go yeah, on Facebook. Sure, go on it. Whatever. If 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 it, if you cannot find it, you make it. Yeah, damn. Remember yeah, that. If you cannot sure, find bro. it, make it. Yeah. Okay. All right, dude. You're going to have a blast, dude. I'm so excited I, for I you sure to find so. all the other manolipid people. For me, too. For me, too. All right. You know, if I, if I prove, like, the existence of the Higgs boson, I'll be sure I'll be sure to, you know, say what's up, you know? Or, Beautiful. like, I'll send, go, send me a yeah. giant cob of corn in the mail. Oh, yo, dude. For sure. You know, it's going to be a big, you know, country, country girls make do. Beautiful, beautiful. You have a good rest of the night, my guy. Of course. You as well. See you later. Take care, dude. Call from Peralta. To accept, press 1 to send a voicemail. Bonsai? Wow, hello? hello? How are you? You know, I'm actually doing fantastic. How are you? Um, you know, I'm all right. Why so fantastic? You know, I just don't feel like it's a life isn't life isn't fun if you don't live it for for what it is, you know. What have you accomplished today or like in general? What have you accomplished? Well, today I bought a lamp um and I'm going to paint my my ceiling. But over time I uh I've I've accomplished uh being able to love myself for who I am. Who are kind you? Of, like, most oh, well, of why, why do you say? Why do you say kind of? Are you? Have you? Do you only love parts of yourself? I mean, like there, like I'm like 95 percent of the way there, but like there's still a little, there's still a little bit to go. What's the five percent uh, that you don't? What's the five percent that you don't like still? I don't know. I, I don't think I. I don't think I truly like feel the five percent yet. You know, I feel like I need to. Uh, I feel like I still need to get there, um, whether it be by like working out or by by some other means. I feel, I mean I don't really know what other means that, that there is, but uh, I feel like I feel like I just need to get to that other five percent. You don't know what other ways you could love yourself than by working out. Um, honestly, I I feel like for the most part I I do really love myself and. Uh, because that would be a good because that would actually be good because that that would mean that that would actually be amazing for you because that would mean you have the answer you just have to go work out a bunch right yeah do that but i, I yeah like i mean i I've, I've been thinking about it i'm just like i don't really know what else i need besides besides looking the part that i want to play but I, I don't really know what else i need you know i i'm like i'm i'm chilling and living life and I mean, maybe a house eventually, like by myself. But like, I'm I'm kind of chilling, you know. You you sound like you're doing well. You sound like look. You know what? Honestly, you're. you're I, I'm getting the sense from you. I think. I think actually, you're fine. I think loving yourself 95 percent of the way is that's perfect. I don't think you need 100 percent. I don't think anyone. No, I don't think anyone loves themselves a hundred percent. Actually, you know who loves themselves a hundred percent is 
the people that maybe probably shouldn't. I think 95%, that's a healthy amount of percentage to love yourself. So, well, like, you. imagine someone who loves themselves 100%. Self-hatred, a healthy amount. 5% 5 is a juicy, sweet little amount. Because that's enough to hate yourself to want to improve. And so that way you'll keep going. If you loved yourself 100%, then you would never want to change anything about yourself and you just stay stagnant the whole time. Yeah, that would be a dangerous person right there. Dangerous person right there. I agree. Yeah. But, you know, like, what's what's going on with you? I, I want to know more about 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 you. Well, too bad. What would you say your name was? Uh, Christian. Christian. Well, thank thank you for calling in, man. I appreciate you. And, 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 and good luck in your travels moving forward. You got a good thing going for yourself. Thank you so much, and I'm I'm super excited to say that my parents just received your package in the mail, and I and I'm gonna go open it up uh, uh, like tonight. Fuck yeah, baby! I'll talk to you soon. Later, okay. man. Sounds good. All right, bye bye. I sent Christian a gecko sweatshirt. Call from Trevor. Trevor. Gecko. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you doing? Um, you know, I'm chilling. I'm ah, I'm all right. Yeah, you seem you seem to be pretty wet, man. I am. It's the bath water is getting very cold. So you said that a few times, and what I've been wondering is like, why don't you just let some of the bath water out, put some new hot water in? I don't know. It's gonna be noisy. It's gonna. Maybe I'll end. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I haven't done that. Should I do that? You can do it right now. I'll stay on the phone. I'd. I'd love. No, to I, I, I don't think I'm gonna do it right now. I just. Um, I might do it eventually. I don't know. I think. I want to be able to just. I want to be able to. You know about. You know about stoicism. Do you know what that is? Do I know about stoicism? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've dabbled. I, I think I followed this subreddit for two or three years, but I decided okay. I wasn't too into it, so I left. Same. That's what I. That's what I got going. That's my level of understanding as well. But I. I want to be a, the. I want. Don't you want to be? I want to be the kind of person that can just withstand any situation emotionally. And I feel like if I can't withstand a little bit of gross cold water then who am I to consider myself emotionally resilient, you know? Hmm. But you see, I'm trying I, to build that, that up you're... in these low-risk you know, low think... situations. I'm sorry, what, what did you say? You know, I really want to, like, appreciate that. I, I appreciate the efforts. I appreciate your bravery. But this all just seems sort of silly when you consider that you can just turn the faucet on and get more hot water. You're I'm sorry, I don't see no what's suffering. silly about any of this. I'm sorry, what was that? Gecko? Um. No. Y y well, th th it's it's no. It's a personal choice, you know. It's a, it's it's. I'm doing what I feel like I need to do for my own personal growth. You feel like making yourself cold in this moment when you're dressed in a gecko costume live on Twitch. You you really believe that this one moment will make you that much stronger? I believe it's it's maybe not this one moment will make us make me that much stronger. But look, this moment in conjunction with other small moments, you know, lead, may lead up to well, something big. I, I I agree. You know, I it takes a lot of small steps to eventually do some big ones. So what what are the other small steps you're taking? Then? Um, you know, I, I I don't know. They might present they might present themselves to me, uh, you know, when I least expect it, but. For now, I'm you know I'm just building up my bank of emotional resilience, one brave act at a time. So just every day in life, you just consciously choose to take the road less traveled, even if it's a of course, year. of course. That's how yeah. you grow. When, what's what's the last really difficult thing that you did, my friend? The Would you say your name, Trevor? What's the last really difficult thing yeah, you did, Trevor? Trevor? Um, honestly, not not getting disenrolled from college, Gecko. Not getting disenrolled from college. N not getting disenrolled. Yeah, my, my GPA was really bad, so they were going to kick me out. But I, I 
I've got a high enough GPA that I'm not being kicked out. So okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. Do you feel stronger after having done so? I I do. I feel like I'm more apt to not fail next semester and the semester after that because of it. But you know, the thing is, I didn't voluntarily put myself in the situation. This was an obstacle that life threw at me. I didn't voluntarily choose to sit in that cold water. If you know what I'm saying. Well, I voluntarily chose to sit in this water while it was hot, and then it involuntarily became cold. So yet, I might have put myself in this situation control. unknowingly. I am in control, and I choose to steer my ship in the direction of, of valiance. Gecko, you Is sound like a drug addict. You, you can say you're in control all you want, but we know you're really not if that water is still cold. You think I'm addicted to sitting in cold bath water? More or less. I'm not going to confirm very, nor I'm deny just... that, but I will say that whether or not I am addicted to sitting in cold bath water is my choice. Okay? And I don't... And you know what, Trevor? I, I, I don't think that you what, have any room to judge me for doing so. Okay? Well, why is that gay? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm being defensive. Okay, I was picking up a little bit there. Let's, let's chill out. It's all right. Let's chill out. Listen, Cold Trevor, I, I, out. I, I appreciate you calling in, man. You have a good rest of the night, and, um, you know, drop out of college. It's not worth it unless if you're trying to become a doctor or some shit like that. Hey, man, I, I appreciate it. Good to hear, Gecko. Uh, have a good one. Stay warm. Take care, baby. Bye. Call from... Don. 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 Is that you? What's Don? up? What's up, dude? How you doing? Man, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just hanging out. <sighs> so am I. It feels, this feels, you know what? When I was really hot, I was really hot when I started doing this, and I was so excited for the water to get cold. But now that it is, this is a metaphor for life. John. You say your name is John? No, you say your name is Don. Don. Don, yeah. Don. Don, now that the water is cold, I want it to be hot. Always greener, my tragic? friend. Just like the guy, uh, I know, the grass costume. is always greener. Like the get costume, exactly. What can I do for you, Don? Is there is there is there a specific thing going on that you wanted to you know, talk about with the with the wet gecko? Well, really, I mean, I've tried to call you a couple of times, so I'm, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I'm not sure what the topic is. I just kind of called in. Today's been a kind of a crazy day for us here in America, so I'm oh, kind I of know, uh, my friend. just chilling. That's, look, I'm, I've, I, for the past... You, that's, that's why I'm here, you know, for the past however long. I'm, I have been aware of no current events um, that have transpired outside of the perimeter of my uh, two by five foot tub. Estimated. Uh, this is probably smaller than that, but um, I, the, I have a topic. I haven't been sticking to it that much, but what, uh, what, 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 what do you do to relax, Don? Well, um... You know, I just ordered uh, components for a uh, gaming computer I'm building. I haven't been relaxing much, but I think I'm going to try to do that um, once those come in. I'm waiting on them. Graphics cards. You're making a game. A gaming computer, yeah. Nice. Okay, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you going to be playing on that bad boy? Well, I'd like to eventually like get some VR stuff so that I can uh, perhaps live in a different world. For a I bit. like that. When I, I like check that. out, you, are you into VR porn at all? I mean, I've never tried it, but uh, like, I mean, I think you have to at least like see what it's like. I mean, I've never tried it. I mean, you can't knock it unless you try it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you think, Gek, but I think that's uh, that's true. That max. I don't know. I'm scared that it's gonna be too good. You know what I mean? Like you want to stay in it all the time? Yeah. Uh, that 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 freaks me out. The fact that like it's that maybe it's better than like having sex in real life. That I just like never leave my closet. 
Well, that could be possible, I guess. But uh, I mean, I don't. I think we have to take some risks sometimes. I don't know about you, but I don't know. Just to be safe, don't get too good a graphics card. Yeah, I got kind of a mediocre one because they're in shortage right now. So I got something that was available. So it may keep me in check that it's a little frustrating that it's not as good as it should be. What is your ideal world? What, what, what virtual world are you going to be building that you can escape to? What is your ideal world to live in right now? Uh, wow, that's a good question. So, you know, um, so really, um, I just kind of want to do some social games that are a little bit more uh, VR oriented. Like uh, there's, there's a specific game, like uh, my wife's actually into like ghost hunting. So there's a game called uh, Phasmophobia, where you're like you play as a ghost hunter that's VR capable. So you can like uh, you go in and you investigate these houses that are haunted. I like that. I think, yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool because I mean I'm trying to incorporate uh, kind of her as well. That way she doesn't think I'm trying to escape her. You know what I mean? I like you know what that's sweet of you. Are you you got to, you got. That's that's nice because man, those Oculuses and shit are expensive. You're gonna have to buy gotta buy two of those. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I, we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll we can switch out or something like that. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I think uh, I don't know. I think uh, maybe I could include her in some ways. That way, at least she doesn't feel slighted by the the process. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, you know, we're, we're as much when you get lost in the VR porn. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll try to include her, but I don't think she's very open to the the prospect. So I don't know. Well, how could see. you? How think... could she deny an invitation to go virtual ghost hunting? That sounds badass. Well, I think she might be open to that. See, I bought her some uh, actual ghost hunting equipment uh, for various birthdays and and Christmases, etc. So we've done. I'm uh, imagining. Kind of like I'm imagining your wife getting upset at uh, virtual ghost hunting because it's not real. <laughs> yes, I guess. yes, it's not exactly real. Or it, it's uh, they, you know, I mean, hey, who says to where of uh, ghosts manifest? They may, they may manifest in the game. Perhaps true. Perhaps the game is also a, a uh, an acceptable medium for ghosts to express themselves. I think so too. It's because it's because ghost hunting, a ghost hunting video game that's realer than ghost hunting in real life. It could be. I mean, because they're really spirit boxes. And well, I mean, if you ask me, I mean, I'm into psychology myself. So, I mean, a lot of it seems like uh, confirmation bias to me. But, uh, you know, just I, I'm open to the I like the aspect of people uh, or how people respond to that. But I also think it's interesting to remain open to the prospect of the unknown as well. Nice. Nice, nice. You know what? I, I think I wish the best for you for you bringing that VR, um, video that VR computer into your household. I think it will bring um, much levity to your marriage and much happiness to your life. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate your time. I don't want to take too much, but I bought a uh, Gek uh, T-shirt the other day, and uh, ah! I appreciate it. I'm a big thank fan. you, thank you, man. I appreciate you. All right, man. Well, thank you, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna keep uh, following. Thank you, man. You look. You're gonna look beautiful in that thing. I know it. I appreciate you supporting the merch and uh, and for calling in, man. You take care. All right, man. Take care. Call from Alan. Alan. Hey there. Hi there. Ho there. You're as, you're, listen, Alan, you're as welcome as can be. What's up? Tell me everything. Oh, man. Uh, well, I was going to ask you what your favorite cereal was. Um, I, I almost don't want to talk about it because it ruined my life. Well, how so? And, and I don't want to tell anyone else about it because it, it might ruin theirs as well. Oh, uh, no, no. I know what it is. I know what, what is it, it is. You like what is golden it? grams, don't you? You like Golden Grahams. No, Golden Grahams is a cereal for normal people. That is okay? an absolute lie. 
You know what? All right. You know what? I'll tell you. I'll tell you the name of. The, I'll tell you the name of the cereal that ruined my life. I but need I need you, you to tell I, me I tell now. I tell everyone that can hear my voice right now. I need you to tell me now. All right. You need to calm down. Okay. Sorry. Because you are yelling in my ear right now. Okay. I'm sorry. I forgive you. And I'm sorry for Thank being you. Stern, Thank you, Therapy you Gecko. I'm just I, so I excited. Like I had to. I'm excited, too. I'm excited to talk to you as well. There's a cereal that ruined my life when I was a freshman in college, and it's called Sprinkled Donut Captain Crunch. Captain it's about, Crunch? It's Sprinkled Donut Captain Crunch. And the thing is, it's it's basically a box of, like, don't you can eat donuts for breakfast, but every little donut piece has yeah. 500 calories in it so there's about five, there's about a hundred thousand calories in the in the box and one spoonful will you'll gain that's how i got as that's how i got as fat as i am right now is by hey, eating literally you one you're bowl fat. no you're you, you know what i, I your, can be both you're a slim, i believe i can you're be both slim daddy Thank you, but I look. I don't. I think that being fat and being beautiful. I look. Beauty is on the is on the yeah, inside. Yeah, that, that 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 came out wrong. I apologize. No, it came out exactly right because it was how you felt at the time, and it was the truth. All right. Uh, What'd you say your name was? Huh? My name's Alan Therapy Gecko. Alan. Promise me right now that you will never, ever, ever go to Amazon and purchase a box of Sprinkle Donut Captain Crunch using the coupon code GECK. Therapy GECK? Wait, Therapy GECK? Is this a thing? <laughs> promise, promise me. Do you promise? <laughs> yeah, you, you, Therapy GECK, I promise I will never go to Amazon and order a box of uh, Captain Crunch using the Sprinkle Donut code Captain Gek. Crunch. Yo, Sprinkle Beautiful. Donut That's Captain Crunch. That's all I need to hear from you. Thank you so much, right. Alan. I appreciate you calling I in. love you. I love you too, man. Take care.